Can you hear me now? I'm trying it on the x-ray. I'm trying to see if I can pick it up on something. There you go. Trying to get the right angle on it. There it is. We're in Massachusetts. Um, I'm looking like this is like a doorway cam. Can you guys hear me? Look at this thing. This is over Massachusetts. This is a. <clears throat> this right here is a street light. Can you guys hear me now? This right here looks like a, to be about, you know, 50 miles over the earth or something. And right here, here and here, these two, these are little planets right here. You can't see them, but I'm going to try to zone in on them. Let me see if I can do, let me see, here's x-ray. You know, I kept going, I'm, I said I'm tired, I'm not going to go on. All right, if I look and if I find something, I'll go on. <laughs> What's going on with my screen? What's happening with my screen? Oh, I'll tell you, my whole, my whole page shut down. What in the world? Sorry, guys, hang on. Technical difficulties. Yeah, I liked it. I got more footage, too. Ken just sent me a bunch of footage, guys. I got to put it up. But give me a second. I'm trying to get back online. It's been a difficult two days trying to do stuff with this company. YouTube sucks. <laughs> See that? I had that. I got knocked off. I'll be back. Hang on. My whole, my whole, uh, the whole extension, everything got knocked off. Oh, you took, they took all my pages? Dang. Oh, see how they treat me? Okay, you guys hang out. I'm going to try to recover. There we go. We're back. Yeah, they don't want me to show my stuff, but I'm showing it anyways. There it is, folks. Let's see if I can get that angle just right. I need to move the camera over, so hang hang tight, guys. That's what you got to do with high technology here. When it don't work, you got to make it work. I gotta change the position of my camera. Because if I don't, you ain't gonna see nothing. But now you're gonna see something. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties in the studio tonight. This thing I'm using is just kinda giving me a friggin' hard time. Okay. I came on that fast. I said, I'm going to catch this thing before it disappears or something. Okay, folks, right there. Now we got it. You knew I'd come through, right? Welcome to Seafinal Channel. It just gets getting weirder every day and every night. Find it next in the morning. The Bureau at nighttime with Nana and Amma Saru. Maybe circling, I don't know, Nibiru. And that could be R2. That's, you know, I'm not an expert in all that, but here we go. Filterville. If you're new here, subscribe. I do these, whenever these things pop up, I went on two cameras. This was the second camera. It took me less than three minutes, and I said, no, I got to go back to Massachusetts. Actually, I, I said, I'm going to go to all Massachusetts cameras I got, and I did. And the first two, I found this. So I said, there you go. Can't get any more real-time fake news than this, huh, people? Welcome to Seafinal Channel, coming to you live from Central California, looking at a camera in Massachusetts. 
I don't have any music ready or nothing. I think those are two moons. Now, if they're Nana and the other one, one of them's going to move quickly. What's great about this guy, and it's a terrible picture on my, my laptop. See, i got to bring it all the way down just to get that. If I go the other way, the, the night sky is too blue. Anyways, that's real time right there. Let me see yeah. if I could not mess up or show you where we're at. Can you see that where we're at? Massachusetts, Arlington. So I, I, I looked up on the Insmi cams, I looked up uh, Massachusetts and there's like seven locations. And I just looked at six at a time. It was right there in a small box. I said, no, that's like a gift from God. Let me go show that. There's something coming down too. Can you see that? I'm trying to get the screen down. See that coming down? That is not the size of the moon. The moon is big right now. What's that? Yep. Everybody needs to tweet five people and email at least three and Facebook at least a couple hundred. Because this, this is real right there. Okay, let's give you another filter. If you're not convinced something's there, let's go to x-ray. Something's there. Something, something, something. I see four somethings. <laughs> hey, Eloro, I'm telling you, I'm sitting here, I get this hunch, I know it's God saying go to Massachusetts. So I go to Massachusetts, and within two cameras, that's what I found. And it was so obvious, I didn't even have to have the full page. I was a little, little one of those little pick cams, but it was live, and I said, no, that's something right there. So, <clears throat> I don't think the moon is throwing a sun dog, do you guys? <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> This is, I'm telling you, I might, not, I might stop making movies if I get captures this easy and I can go real time. This is insane. We're looking at, uh, in Massachusetts, probably facing east, an orb, two smaller moons, or a planet and two small moons, or we don't know what the thing on top is, but that just came down. It's kind of bright. We are in Massachusetts. Arlington, Massachusetts, real time. So we don't know if it's going to go up or down. I'm going to try to put up um, a little deal I have. Uh, let's see if I can do it without messing up. Yeah, I, I'm actually, I am going to keep an eye on it. This thing right here is, it's, it's a dark orb, but I put a filter on it for my cell phone. I'm on a laptop. And uh, at first I saw that, you know, I saw this right here, this planet right here. And then I saw these two pop out. And now just this little light right here just popped out of nowhere. This is all in the skies of Massachusetts. This is a doorway camera. This looks like it's part of the doorway. Okay, right here, some bricks. And there's a cam, obviously, you know, this could be one of those door cams that people have the new bell systems, the doorbell systems with the cams. Right? Look at that. I mean, that's how easy it is to find stuff. This guy has his doorbell cam facing the sky. Probably, I'm going to say, I'm just going to assume east because it's nighttime. Okay, thumbs up. The score is 34. Watchers are not liking what I'm showing or they just haven't hit the thumbs up yet. And thumbs is eight. So, but this is this is unreal, guys. This is real time. This car is on the ground. Let me see if I can show you them. If you watch the ground, you're gonna see cars going by. This is real time. So I'm gonna take you through a bunch of filters. Enjoy the ride. I don't know how long I'm gonna do this for, but I ain't gonna pass it up. This is real time breaking news. This should go to Fox News. They should say, "Hey, what's this in the sky, guys?" Somebody should report on it. I'm reporting on it, right? There's a black and white of it. Check it out, Laura. We got um, probably a two, maybe two moons. And this little light source just popped out of nowhere a couple seconds ago. We're over the skies of Massachusetts. This is real. Now... For the most part, I've been selfish because I've been getting all this stuff live like this. I'll watch it, take some pictures, spend about an hour getting all kinds of good footage. And then this is more fun. 
You got people watching it with you. Okay, so let's go to... Hi, Laura. Hi, Ashley. Let me see if I can get some music going, because I can't handle no music. So be patient with the maestro. I do have some good music. Hang out, guys. Let me take the screen over for a second. I think I like this music. I'll turn it down. I don't realize how good this phone picks up. Sometimes I'm screaming at you guys thinking you're not hearing me. Can you hear the music now? Um, I don't know, because I'm going from cell phone, so um, I'm not like on a laptop, you know what I'm saying, doing this. So it, it cuts my, it, lim it, it limitates me from doing any of that. Um, you could type in an address to a place where you have it and let's share it with everybody. I don't care. As long as it ain't porno, I'm good. I don't want to have that site. No, thank you. So you guys can see my playlist I'm playing from. I'll leave that up. It's kind of cool. And then I have a, um, I'll set this up because I'm going to sit here for a minute. This is too intense not to. Let me just move stuff around. I beat the heck out of my computer, guys. I mean, I just work it to death. It's all my side notes. I'm going to give you an address on here so you guys could read it. See, I just came on spontaneous. I mean, it took me like less than four minutes to get online. I said, okay, I hope everything's good because I'm going online. Where did I lose my stuff at? Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to put it on top here, above my... Here's my email address, you guys. The computer's lagging like crazy. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, this is giving me a hard time. There you go. Let's space it out. So I'm... Even this little notepad thing's giving me a hard time. Time for new equipment. <clears throat> okay. Okay. There you go. That's the address. There's my email if you got pictures. If you guys got pictures, let's say you got a picture of something like this. Whoa. Okay, back to the show. Sorry about that. That's how it goes when you go live raw like this, right? You want the best, you got to deal with it. Okay. So I almost got my lid closed to get this shot, guys. So it's kind of distorted, okay? Just pay attention. See the street and all? You, I want you guys to see some cars. I'm going to try to get it from this angle. I'm going to try to zoom in on it. Yeah. I'm hearing you. See, so that's more. That's right there. Now, what I'm doing is I'm bringing my, my laptop forward. So you can see the top of it. I gotta bring the page down a little bit. Okay, see the top right there? That just came into focus. You got these two moons or whatever it is, and then definitely this is pretty big. Yeah. That's a good guess, Tom. I, I'm I'm kind of like hoping. <laughs> Actually, I am. And it's crazy because I ain't looking out my windows. I don't care. That's what I talk about. It's dark out there. It's going to be a candle lit in my house. <laughs> People praying. And if there's power, I'm going to be broadcasting. So stay inside. I'll broadcast it. We'll have a prayer meeting online, guys. We'll be okay. I, I think I'll go ahead and plan that. We go black, but we got power. And if we go black and there's no power, it's some serious blackness. But if we got, you know, blackout, 
The sky, three days of darkness, but we still have power. I'm broadcasting the whole time. I'll just have phone lined up after phone. I'll just keep coming online. You know, and I ain't looking at my windows for nobody. We'll just have, I'll show you old footage. <laughs> we'll just sit there and pray. Anyways, welcome to C for an old channel. If you haven't subscribed, it's getting crazy by the day. Okay, I'm going to focus and stop talking. Yeah. And anybody out there bringing this stuff live like I'm trying to do? I'm, I'm doing it on crap, you know, equipment, but hey, better than no equipment. Here's the x-ray, haunted x-ray look. It's black and white. Yeah. They do that. Uh, I don't I don't really do Easter. I don't like the goddess of Esther, so I don't hang out with them. That's stuff too much on Sunday. But I, I, re, I celebrate death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ every day. Look, guys, that's a pretty good filter. Yeah, this is a website. And um, I'll show you in a minute the address. This is um, in Massachusetts, Arlington. It's on nccam.org. And the number actually is... Um, 722986. That's the cam number. They have thousands of cams. And this one, I don't even know if it's a beach cam. I just put in Massachusetts and I started uh, scanning the cams to see if anybody had one point to the sky. And in the doorway of this guy's house, on the left of his doorway, this is like a doorbell cam, which makes it even more fun. Let me show you. Okay, so there's the page. And I'll show you the, I'll pull this out, guys. Take quick notes. See if you can see that, okay. Here's the website right here. Here's my email. And uh, I don't prefer you use a super chat for the simple reason I don't want to give YouTube 30%. <laughs> that's, my, that's my take on it. I do all the work. Anyways, if you guys want to donate anything, there's my PayPal. So, there's, you know, if you ever need to write that down, I'm not offended. Taking tips. And there you go. There's the address of my email. Okay. So, if you guys get crazy pictures, let's put them up. So this is a doorway right here. This is like a doorbell cam. I'm thinking I'm realizing this is a doorbell cam pointing out across the city. Okay. Now. I'm going to get it. I got to actually bring my laptop down even because it's done. There's so much fog and weird stuff on the picture of the cam. It's like hazy. What I'm trying to do is get a really good shot. You can see everything. It's kind of distorted on the bottom. No, it's definitely a God thing. You know why? Because I wasn't going to come up. I asked my wife. I was like, just tired. I went to lay down, and I couldn't sleep. It's my anniversary. So I said, I'm not going to go on no cameras. And then I got this feeling, you need to go search Massachusetts cams. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to go find out what that's about. <laughs> okay. So I pull up Massachusetts cams on the on this NC cam, and it pulls up six of them. And the first one I clicked on, nothing. And then it, Well, it pulls up six cams at one time, and I go, oh, the second one right there. There's a planet right there. And so I just hooked my camera up. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we've been married 32 years. I only fought for three of it. That was the first three. <laughs> right, Don? The first three. So I'm going to give you guys a different filter. Anyways, I figured I'd chase it down. It took me about four minutes to get online. Uh, they said that other film messed up, so... Oh, well. I'm going to put it back up. I got so much stuff on my desktop. I didn't plan on doing this. See, I'm trying to figure out how to get the glare off of there, but it's, it might not be doable. Is that my banjo music? 
You gotta remember, it's a lot louder for you guys. And my, my laptop's really a low laptop. I'm trying to ha figure out how to get this over. Hey, Dawn, did those brownies in there burn? I smell brownies, guys. I don't smell Popeye's chicken, though. I'm screwing up. I'm trying to get this a better focus, though. Hang tight. Yeah, I know. They did. I still like the red cam. The red filter. It always gets me. Oh, that one's a purple filter with a nice guy. Here we go, red. How does that look? Makes the planet stand out. It makes the planet almost like it's lit up. Which, honestly, it's like it is lit up. Yeah. Where's Troll Slayer? I got his movie made. I got to put it up. So I'm going to upload that other one that they froze on that live one you guys remember. Anyways, I put up a film, premiered it yesterday, and it froze and it never showed. And it said technical difficulties. I said, Tef what? And I played this thing like three times, putting it up and putting all the stuff on it, all the add-ons. And so I know it worked. They froze it. They just censored me. Yes, Jesus is the truth and the light. Now, what we're looking at here, this is my opinion on this, is we have either... a a series of stellar cores right here. This ain't no sun dog, and this ain't no lens flare at nighttime. The cam is in a, in like a walkway, possibly a door cam, and those are real. If I take you to the x-ray, see what's real, what's not, so. How's that on the x-ray? Kind of shows you something going on. Yeah, that's real. So with the x-ray, greenish x-ray thing I got here, it kind of shows you something's really there. Something, something. So I got to tell you this. Jesus loves you this Easter. You guys call it Easter. I call it resurrection of Jesus Christ every day. I hope you meet him. He's my best friend, my Lord and my Savior, Yahweh. Yeshua, Yahuwah, Jesus Christ, I love him for 35 years, I've been married for 32 years because I had three years of training before I met my wife. <laughs> so this is a different, I've seen guys preach the gospel inside of an 18-wheeler, driving down the street, totally not paying attention to the road. But I guess my, my call in life was Preaching the gospel, showing people planets that don't exist. <laughs> yeah, one guy came on the day I did that video. He says, this is fake news. I said, that's fake. Okay, later, bro. Have fun. <laughs> I'm playing, yeah, I'm playing. Hey, I, I just want to be in total agreement, Tom. I'm just like total agreement. I forget the bet. It's just going to happen. That's what I'm talking about. We're supposed to be eager. I'm pretty eager right now. I'm even bigger. I want everybody to sit around with me until we get raptured, all right? Okay, here we go. I said it. <laughs> yeah, when there was actually plant life around it. <laughs> hey, behold the Lamb of Yeshua. You guys that are new, you got a sub, and you're under mandatory um, command on this channel. You're the resistance, and you got to give thumbs up. It's, it's the way this channel is. If you don't like the pictures and it scares you too much, it should get double thumbs up. Because if that scares you, Jude says some are saved through fear. And if that scares you and you don't know God, that's what's happening to you right now. You got fear because something like this. I'm showing you some crazy four planets right here. So that's your cue to accept Jesus in your heart. Change your heart. Change your mind. Repent. The kingdom of God is here. That's my message. I'm the crazy virtual reality, John the Baptist in the wilderness, looking at planets and repent. The kingdom of God is here. Tonight's your night. You can come in here by accident. You know, no, no, no. You walked in here because the living God said, me no needs to see this and hear my name, Jesus. I am the Savior. I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way to God or Elohim, the Creator, but through Jesus Christ. 
So that's what I'm here, but I got some cool planets to show you beside that. That's my spill tonight, right there, the gospel. It's like the nutshell version. <laughs> hey, what's up, Hera King Andrew O'Crowley? That's a name, man. I'm going to call you H&R. I'm going to call you the first two letters, H&R. Troll Slayer, your movie is ready. You don't even know what I made out of that one picture. Okay, you guys got to help me break this 50 to 80. I got to hit 100 people in this room. So the only way it's going to happen is if you guys open your mouth and make a noise. It's crazy out there. I'm showing you four planets. So you can show like, okay, I give you four planets. You got to show four people. Deal? Okay, we'll blow this thing up. Now, if I had 175,000 subs, I would at least have 5,000 people right now massively on the chat, just like scrolling real time, super fast. But I ain't Paul Bagley, I ain't WSO, and I ain't Naughty Beaver. Those guys got a lot of people watching them. I'm new guy down the block. I just do crazy stuff with bad equipment. It's great. Okay. <laughs> when you guys are ready for the address of this, I'm not going to give it to you too quick because I want you to stay for at least five minutes on my show. If I want to say show this, and then I'll give you the address, and you can go look at the live feed and watch my show. I got some music, but it went down. I didn't come alive, Don, until I actually started doing the show. I felt like I was going to die all day. I felt tired all day, and then all of a sudden I do a show and get wired. Yeah, they will. I know YouTube is censoring me, so somebody found me. I haven't seen no black bands follow me, so guys, get over all that. I think people make that narrative up for the drama. Man, if I was to do that, you guys would be thinking that I'm running the streets and I got FBI after me. I go off on it. Do that fake stuff. I just show you real planets. Hey, guy comes in today and says, Ernie, Ernie, I think he might be here right now. He said, that's all fake news. I said, good. Go watch CNN. I don't care. Yeah, I can't get the shot I want. But anyways, that's good enough. Your wife's had all the visions. My son had a tsunami vision when I moved to California. I had the same kind of vision like moving to California, tsunamis. Yeah. Now, you guys, I don't know if the people, let's see if there's people down there. Is there people down there? They don't have a clock on this one, so I don't know what time it is. I'm, I'm assuming it's three hours different than my time, so. What time is it, Don? Nine? We got 12 o'clock at night? That's insane looking. Now, the filter makes it brighter in the way I got the, the screen, but, I mean, if you were hanging out in the street, drinking a beer and a brown paper, bag wouldn't you say to your buddy what's that thing up there i don't know i think it's that thing they call planet x but that's not real don't worry about it what about the other two moons up there what's that about oh it's just a sun dog a sun dog it's nighttime people come on wake up jesus is coming back I, you know I, I could do a rap the news i'm telling you mine would be worse than his i curse worse than he does no, I'm just joking. I'm reading your stuff lightning fast tonight. You guys are really chatting up. I'm just rambling and giving you guys something to, I give you guys like something to chew on. Let me tell you about my friend Jesus with my crazy jazzy sound. Too loud, let me know. Here you go. Bright lights. <laughs> Did you guys see the thing I put up? It was uh, Massachusetts, another cam, Laurel, Massachusetts. Half the sky was purple, and it was looking east, and the other half was till green. But there was a giant um, orb on the water, like a, a shadow. Check that out. That was the last, like, I think it was an eight-minute live shot. And that troll came in and 
think he's going to get saved. So this is how frequent we're finding stuff. That everybody's just sitting around broadcasting live. Yeah, we're faking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. We're faking all that. Real time cam. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Earl? You're new. You got to subscribe and ring the bell. Thumbs up. You got to sing some shows. The people have to sing. Yeah, and we know who we are. <laughs> you ever hear the question? Well, who's going to make the rapture? I say the ones who have faith. Because without faith, how can you believe something? It ain't going to happen. Yeah. That looks like on top there, it's not a light bulb, folks. Nope, nope, nope. We've been watching it go down. Yeah, I see you, Laura. I say bring it on. Let the games begin. I mean, I'm tired of anticipation about this whole thing. It's just time to fly and go. Now... Pay attention to the one on top, because that's like weird and, and like, it ain't the moon. I don't think that's the moon, guys. The moon's big right now. What is on top? No, I haven't yet. I haven't been able to get away from showing you guys stuff. <laughs> I work the morning shift, the afternoon shift, and the night shift in this in this studio. But you know something? I'll hang out and do this. But you guys send me links. Put up links so I can see them too. Thank you, Jesus. I need a new body. I need a new back. I know. I, you know what? It's kind of fun, though, right? Because it's like, okay, here's the uh, cell phone. Okay, that's, yeah, that's what it really looks like. I could probably blow that up. Okay, so there's your real shot right there. But I do see from all magic on it. Blue light filters, okay? I have no idea what blue light filters are. I just made that up and put it up because it was a good thing to say. Seriously. Now, so on this cell phone, I have about a dozen filters, so I think that's the one we should watch it in because it really gives it a sci-fi look. But it is real, people. No fake in here. That's real time. There's real cars going by on the ground. I'm not looking at the cars. Uh -oh, I feel like I got like a uh, What's his name? Back in the 70s. That kind of music. Uh, not yet. I've been anniversary in all day. I'm so full, I'm tired of eating. No, I haven't done anything today but this. Well, I know I did before I, I, I did anniversary eating. <laughs> trying to get that planet, guys. On top, I want you to see that thing on top moving around. Okay, there's chemtrails. I don't know if you can see that streak. That is chemtrails. They are laying chemtrails in the middle of the night. Let's see if we can get that live. Let's see if we can see the chemtrails. Nope, oh, there's layers of them. It's almost like cords going through the sky. I need the right filter for that. Okay, now you see it. Are you see the chemtrails? I just laid them. They're gonna try to hide this thing that's glowing. And that is not the moon, people. We're facing east. The moon's already up higher than that. This could be somebody's dream we're watching right here, guys. Serious. It's getting weird on my channel. I dare someone to type, this is fake. Go ahead. Watch how fast I make you disappear. I'm serious. This is not fake. I'm that serious. I would threaten you guys if you would say, this is fake. I want to hit my button, and I learned how to do it. I'm dangerous. 
I'm a troll slayer. <laughs> I will. I got a tag. I got a tattoo. I'll show you someday of slaying a, a slaying a dragon. Let me see. No, I can't do it. I'll mess the whole show up. What was that? I was reading that. Yeah, I'm reading, guys. Now, my vision, I was, uh, I fell asleep in this vision. I fell, I watched myself fall asleep in a vision. And all of a sudden, I was going up and I was floating over the earth and I was kind of scared. And then I realized I was breathing in space, so I knew I must have been raptured, which I wasn't sure if I believed in that yet, but I did. And, um, Wormwood came over my shoulder, and, and Lord Jesus told me, do not be afraid, do not be afraid. So I had that vision, four, exact same vision four times. So June, no, May 29th, so that's a planet guys coming down or something. Uh, May 29th, last year, 2017, the Lord told me, he gave me the vision the fourth time. And he said, tell him, I love him. Show them the planet. I'll show you where to find the planets. So tonight, this is how easy it is for me, guys. I just went, God, Massachusetts? He goes, yeah, Massachusetts. Go search it. So I pulled up Ma I pulled up these cams. I punched in Massachusetts. In the second picture, this is what I found. And this is real as can get, led by the Spirit. No lie, Jesus loves you. You didn't stumble in this room. Because this is not the famous room. You know, it's just what it is. We're all school. It's, it's uh, raw footage um, Laura if you type in an address then it'll ask me to hide it or show it I'll show it or chat you know text it in yeah but you know the worse than that the, it's, the atmosphere is going to get pretty heavy hey Don do you love me on my anniversary can you get me a brownie <laughs> My wife's so sweet. No, no. I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna just have her talk to you guys and tell her how crazy I am. I'm gonna get the top part. I'm, I'm wrestling it, guys, but you know. Anyway, saying that, I'm gonna care if I have to stretch it out a little bit. Man, it's getting. I gotta get a better picture for you people. I can't have this. We got to deal with this. If I zoom in. Yeah, this is like watching, like, what do you say, the, the 50? Hey, that's groovy, ain't it? Look at that purple. That's groovy. I want the top of the page. It's just spread out too far. That's right. You're saying it, bro. Revelation 8 is about ready to happen. I'm moving it around. I want you guys to see different versions of it. But we're going to go to that planet on top in a minute. Thank you guys for being patient with my antiquated equipment. Well, okay, I'm a bit serious now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know. We're not going to see the red planet. Apparently. I mean, the one that's lit up on top. Just the angle of my thing won't go. Yeah, that's a dog. Sorry, guys. Can't get that angle. But, you know, I think it's coming down anyway, so there. It is definitely coming down, and I don't think it's the moon. What do you guys think? Man, just getting out of control over there. So they shadow ban me and I come up with this crazy way of showing live footage. And Jesus won't let him shut the door because he says he'll open doors no man can shut. 
I'm so too bad. I'm showing this. <laughs> yeah, I will. Hang on, hang on. I pulled up. And I'm not lightning fast on getting email nowadays because I'm trying to get planets. Don't get offended if I don't answer you like in a day or two or a week. Just get over it. Because I really want to show the planets all day long. And if I had the right equipment, actually, guys, I'd put on a live stream on something like this and let it play out. And I'd already find two of them <laughs> lined up to show you all live streams. There's that many planets out there. Where's the web address? I'm chewing in your ear, too. I'm so professional. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got joy tonight. I've been married 32 years and only fought for three. Pretty good. Jesus loves me. Loves you, too. Okay, if that is the moon, there's a planet clearly beside the moon, right? But I don't think it's the moon. I think it's another planet, and I think the whole system's going by this cam that this guy has in his doorway. That's insane looking. See, I'm actually holding my camera back a little bit. That's what pops off. My bad. In times, you know, it's the apocalyptic end times. You gotta film it the way you can get it. <laughs> Okay, well, this is what I want you to do. On top right now, you'll see a little camera. I think you see a little camera on the YouTube page you're watching this on. Open that up. It'll say create a post. That will be my channel. And when you go in there, you can put pictures. You guys got to start using it because I've been putting all kinds of stuff up. And nobody knows it's there. I don't think nobody knows it's there. They don't really advertise it, but it's a way of communicating. Well... Did good, Earl. 32 years, too? I know. It took my wife at least 25 to train me. <laughs> She's looking at me, eating a brownie. Oops. Yeah, Sarah, it's my anniversary. 32 years. And we went out and ate a chicken fried steak. We haven't done that in a while. I needed it. Yes, Tom, yes. I don't see all you guys' chats. It goes so slow on my end. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> I'm eating a brownie, I'm a pig. Smack it in your ears. Look at it coming down, guys. That's a planet around something else. So we got on the bottom. I gained people. I started smacking and more people came in the room. Wow. Internet's amazing. I'm going to put that brownie away before I get in trouble. Okay. I wish some people would stop. This car is all over the place. Watch this. This car is going by like crazy. It was. I had to move the camera once just to get this angle right. I love wrestling it. It's just, you know, here we go. I'm just going to get the one on top. I'll just show you guys every few minutes. But the live feed, I showed you guys that already. I pull it forward, it just, you know, craps out the picture. Now, I like this better than the other Massachusetts Hall ones we were getting. Those were good, but this is great. Don't be afraid. It's just Jesus returning with his 
destroyer to bring the, the wrath of the Lamb right on. Look at this thing, it's separating, guys. See it on top of the page there? It's amazing looking. Okay, watch those two while I get this little camera. I'm going to get this little camera up, so be patient. I'm going to get pictures to do forensic on this thing. No, that's not what I wanted. Hang on, guys. My computer does what it wants. See how it does what it wants? Doesn't anybody send in a memo? I'm doing a show. You're not supposed to pop up and do all this in the middle of a show. Okay. Sorry about this. Crazy out here. Sorry about that. That's what makes my show real. Doing stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't plan it, but I should start planning stuff like that just to make the show more authentic. Okay, the planet on top is getting more separate from the light source, which we have no clue what it is. Unless uh, we have an astrologist in the room, or we got a rocket scientist right now that can explain this. I mean, I know maybe Claudia can come over and say, Chris, what you got there is stellar cores, and they're getting ready to ignite. The one on top's already getting a little lit up. That could be a stellar core, guys, the one right above that little planet. Okay, I gotta get to work. I gotta pull my camera up. Okay, you can see my camera a little bit there, a little line. And I'm gonna take shots of this and then I'm gonna clean it up, take all the fog and haze and everything out of it, and then I'm gonna do a forensic on it. I'm getting the whole thing, even though you don't see the top part. This music's fun. <laughs> Look at that thing coming down. What? Seriously? <laughs> Who's that sound? I could be almost just like Paul. Yeah, Robert, let me show you. Um, I gotta leave this thing up. Here you go. This is the one right here, the second one down. Is it right there? And to be cams. You guys need to all get pictures of this. Put them on your websites, put them on your Facebooks. This is real stuff happening right here. Just cause I got ancient equipment don't mean I can't show it. Hey, hey. If you can't hear me sometimes, I'm probably too far away from that thing. So all new people are come and go, come and go, come and go. Thumbs up, subscribe. Go watch my crazy footage from this whole last week. Today I showed a purple sky and a till green sky on the east coast with no sun around. Sun's on the west coast going down in the afternoon. And it had an orb on the water of the Atlantic Ocean. It was right there at the Atlantic Ocean. And then I showed stalled and they took out two, a day and a half of pictures. I've never seen Stalden take one picture down. That's the first time. So I went to another Stalden camera facing north. That Stalden camera that I've been showing you with the fireball in the sky, that's facing south. Well, I went to another camera facing north and you can catch what they took away. The whole sky turned to fire. And I might, I might go get it and do a video on it. But it's from a distance, so it's gonna be hard to deal with to see really good, but it, the whole sky turned into an amazing fire. Yeah, they took down uh, the 16th and half. Uh, they left one hour that evening of the 17th. They took it all down. And now the morning started so far. I've been watching it. And they're putting pictures up. So, and I don't think these guys sit there like we're doing and watching them. So I'm going to go there every so often and look and see if I can grab five or six pictures from it. You know, that's how you get your catch. You know, you. You almost got to like stalk the cameras to get the good shots because these guys are taking pictures off as fast as we're watching them. But I got to say, that might be one of my most amazing orb shot, moon shot. I mean, I really don't know what planet it is. 
This one down here, I'm suspecting it's like R2. Or R2's moon, maybe. These two right here, I'm gonna say they're unlit stellar cores or they're little moons. Maybe Nibiru's moons, but Nibiru's moons go pretty fast, so I don't think they're Nibiru's moons. They could be, if I did the forensic on it, they could be um, saucers. They could just be, see now, whatever this light source up here is, I don't believe it's the moon and there's no street lights hanging over the city. There's no helicopter that I know of. It's been coming down real slow, guys. And so, your guess is good as mine. Because to me, this is insane. Absolutely crazy to see something like this. So, you guys, I'm going to put a video together of all the stuff that we've seen. All the stuff that we've seen in the sky, I'm going to put a video together. All right. All right. Well, this thing's coming down. It's going to be easier and easier for me to get a shot of it like this. Stella Core is a dwarf star. Unlit. Unlit star. They're small, like our moon, or smaller than our moon. According to what I've heard online, and I actually have seen so many of them, that, you know, we could have a dozen stellar cores floating around our atmosphere. That's why we get those big dark orbs. And I showed you the other guy, the other day, guys, in Amsterdam, there were six dark orbs in the sky. And if you're, if you're not familiar with my channel, just go to the top when you know the little eye pops up when you're watching a video. When you go to my, one of my videos, you just hit that and it will take you back five videos or four videos. So I have it set up so if you go up there, you can go back five videos in order. Sometimes I jump around because the stuff's just so much good footage. So take advantage of that little eye on the right on the corner. And then if you guys want to post pictures on the uh, creative post, it's to create a community of people doing that, showing pictures. You guys could put your website up there. You could put your um, YouTube videos up there. It's all open. And I'm getting like 10,000 people about every 19 hours. No, every 30 hours. So this is real time, like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning in Massachusetts. 10 o'clock here, so it's 1 o'clock in Massachusetts. And I'm telling you guys, I think we got like a stellar core lighting up. And I think we have like three planets or little moons or stellar cores that are. And then the, the big orb on bottom is not as bright as you see. It's just the filter I'm using right now. And there's a lot of haze in the sky, like foggy haze. So this filter is the best one to really get a view of this. Yeah, an unlit dwarf star is a stellar core, right? That's used up all the fuel. And the ones I did in Velarta, I think someone earlier, who was the, the guy that, or who was the uh, subscriber that said, uh, you see my stuff on Velarta, he said it's insane. That's the video they just took down. I was gonna show you guys another version of that and more footage and they took it down. So I'm gonna try to sneak it up tonight. Like, so in the morning, it would be up. I won't put a chat on it. I'll just put it up like real quick. So it would be like in the middle of the night, you know. I watch Naughty Beaver's channel sometime. I like his stuff about Notre Dame and all. He's got some good wisdom about that. I mean, he sees things in a different angle than I do, but he sees stuff, you know, and you can learn from him. I know, you know, I know God will use any of us to speak to about. I don't know, you guys are watching it just like me. I'm sitting here with my mouth hanging up and going, I cannot believe I'm getting this in real time. Yeah, 
And that's the one I refer to as Big Blue Nebula. So I know these are all moons or UFO ships because we've already discovered enough of that in Massachusetts at the beginning of the week or last week. For three days, we got um, a big red UFO thing in the sky for like three days. To, you know, they shut those cams down. Now, my question is, the stuff is not real. Why are they worried about shutting the cams down? Yeah, it's real, people. The only solution is the one solution. And it cleans up all the pollution. That's my little phrase I made up. He's Jesus Christ. He's the way, the truth, and the life. He's showing us his signs. These planets were created by Elohim, the creator himself. They were used in Egypt. They were used in Joshua's day. The Chinese people had wars with them. I mean, the Anunnaki, all that stuff is probably just as real as everybody knows it is. It's all fallen angels. It's all fallen technology. And it's all demonic as heck. And I got to say, we are watching this real time. No playing around. Kingdom of God is here. Repent. And repent means just change your mind about God. Say, Lord, forgive me my sins. I've heard the gospel 15 times in my life. And boom, you're in. And you don't have to worry about seven planets coming down or five stellar cores. You just get saved now and get it over with. Because Jesus called you here to hear my mouth run. <laughs> and I mean it in a fun way, guys. You know, I could preach hellfire and brimstone, but it's not about condemnation. It's about God saying, look, guys, er, attention world. I just want to show you a few planets that I showed Chris so I could tell you that I love you. And now you have a choice. When the three days of darkness or 16 days or three hours or three months comes, you might change your mind. Anyways, just figured I'd leave that memo on your doorstep at your YouTube site. And in real time, so you know, you've been called by the Most High God to enter the kingdom of God. And I love you guys. I'm playing around, but you know I'm a preacher. And it's like, this is insane what we're watching. This is when you go, look, everybody should run to Jesus like in the next five seconds. I'm serious. This is not fake. I'm sitting here bugging out. And I got no fear. I've been doing this for two years straight. Every day, I am under command of the Most High God. This is time to take your post, son. I'm going to end the world here. I'm going to take one-third, one-third, one-third out, and I'm going to invade the whole planet, and we're going to do a thousand years of renovations. And I'm telling you what, I want to see the new heaven and new earth, too. So I'm going, Tom, we're out of here, bro. You get the taxi. I'll see you here, there, in the air. Rapture can come right now while we're doing this. I am actually in faith for that right now, Tom. Right now. In faith. I can't waste the Easter, Lord. Let's do it now. Bring it on. Anyways, you guys want to support my, uh, my ranting and raving channel with live planets, there's my PayPal information on the bottom. And I don't usually ask for money, guys, but I could use some. Anyways, PayPal down on the bottom. If you want it, I'll bring it back up. Now, I'm trying to buy some really good equipment. I don't think I have a lot of time to buy new equipment, but it doesn't matter. If I'm going to be here, I'm going to occupy. We are the resistance, and my mouth is, like, jacked up on coffee. I, I'm like the radio station on Z Nation, you know. I'm Citizen Z. I'm Citizen X tonight. <laughs> Anybody watch Z Nation, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just a funny, stupid movie in the end times. I watch all end time stuff now. Nothing other than aliens and end time. And I'm reading what's happening through the movies and saying, yep, it's coming on just like that. I'm telling you, I'm watching a movie this, today called Skyline. It's demonic as hell. And the Lord said, just watch it. You're okay. Don't be afraid. This is going to happen, this kind of stuff. It's cool. The elite is showing you. The demonic worshipers are showing us what's going on on TV. Pay attention. And, you know, I don't, I don't suggest watching, like, rated R movies and watch, you know, soft porno, nothing like that. But be aware they're showing us what's coming down the pipeline. Yeah, they found a black hole. I think CERN's been burning them up out there. You think CERN's creating that stuff, guys? Just an opinion, you know. The cults from Babylon. Yeah. Now, notice how those planets or moons are. I don't know if they moved a little bit. I think they have. Yeah, CERN. I don't know. 
Russia's gathering the ten nations. And... Did Russia threaten war against us? All sky cams are great. You guys can get some of the best footage ever there, man. The thing is, with the all-star cams, all sky cams, just download if you think you even see something and drag it. And if you see something, take that thing and slow-mo it and you will see a lot. Because I've gotten some of my best video footage off of uh, sky cams, all sky cams. But Bloom sky cams, there are 4H, UK, whatever D. Those things are the bomb. They're like all sky cams, but better. Okay. Yeah. I think it's an alien fallen planet. <laughs> it's a hollowed out planet. They've been observing us cows on the ground. Uh, I, I can't even leave, you know? I can't leave with the starburst coming down in the sky over Massachusetts. Anybody work for Fox News on this channel? Please show them this craziness. And I swear to you, if they did show it, they said, well, it's just a bunch of lens flares. The sun produces those things at 9 o'clock or 12 o'clock at 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Tell you what, no. Uh, Bloom Sky Cams, uh, B L O O M Sky Cams, and they're all over the world, but United States are packed, you know. And what I do is I just kind of bounce around from coast to coast. I hit the middle and I start seeing clear skies. If I see anything with clear skies at all, I start watching them and I'll start, I'll, I'll download it and use the slider. And I'll slow, because it goes like less than two seconds the whole day. So I'll do the slider and if I see anything that looks colorful, anything that looks like it might be a hint, I'll slow it down. I go, there you are, sucker, I caught you. Then I put it in my movie maker and I, change the speed like 500 times down so i slow it all the way down and i watch the whole day and then what i do is i just chop out the front and the bottom or whatever that's not the in-between stuff i don't do that but the end pieces if they're garbage i cut them off and i have a little time lapse that i can control like two or three minutes of time lapse like this right here i'm not filming it but i would but my my hard drive's getting too full i gotta clean it out again but um, like this piece I would normally film, so what I'm doing is I'm taking shots of it. And then I'm going to take my, my super good filters that I got now. They're awesome. And just filter this thing until I clear all that fog up. And I can even use the gamma and um, two different settings I got on there. It's called um, crystallize or something like that. And it takes, it just, it just brings everything out that's real. So you could look in the dark at a picture, take all the darkness off of it and use the gamma. Bring the saturation all the way up and bring the shadows all the way down and you'll watch that thing just... That's what I did the Troll Slayer's picture and I see three planets, huge planets by the moon. I don't want C3, gotta call me out. Thank you, Jesus, he's free of the C3. That C3, man, I'm telling you, they're going to be coming there and they're going to be shooting churches up if they don't obey. That's coming, dudes, peoples. So I tell you how my Easter usually goes. I do not go to church. I haven't been to church on Easter in probably 15 years. Is I take communion. Me and my wife love Jesus like we always do. And uh, we just honor them a little bit more. I talk about them nonstop, so I have Easter every day. You might get that wish. I think that thing is hot. That volcano they got is hot. Yeah, you might get a you might get your prayer on that one. CERN, but they got like they got one in um, what's it called Fermiland over in Chicago. Do you guys know anything about the test they did in Fermiland? I think it's like 700 miles outside, uh, west side of Chicago. Mm. 
We've been watching the craziest footage. Hey, all my footage is up, guys. I'm going to start taking shots out of each one, the best shots. Like this right here is an awesome picture right there. And I'm going to start doing that and putting together just, you know, like the like the next week, like a debriefing video. So this is what we've seen last week. It's not real. It's on. You could tell me it's 50 billion miles out there. You need a telescope to see it. I don't know what this stuff is in the skies, but it ain't lens flares. Okay, it's time for some filters. We need that other thing on top to come down so we don't have to stretch the picture like this. But it won't. Listen to me. Okay, guys, I'm going to adjust the camera, so hang on. If you leave because I'm doing this, if you leave because I'm doing this, you're just too spoiled. Technology is controlling your mind. <laughs> no, I'm going back to camera, guys. You're not in the dark. If I back it up, I might be able to get that shot better. And I have no idea how I figured out how to do all this craziness with this camera and all. It just was, it was like a revelation from God. I'm just rambling. No, no, don't cancel nothing. See how much trouble I'm having with my equipment? Okay, here we go. I had to wrestle that one to get it. It was like wrestling an alligator, man. It just makes my show better, more authentic. Now, this is really serious. Now, that's really serious, guys. I just want you to really consider the seriousness of the issue here. I actually think they stopped trying to hide it. Seriously. I mean, seriously. <laughs> so, I've been kind of rambling for an hour. It's your turn, guys. There's something by the little, oh yeah, something going on, something going on right here. Watch around this area. Now, don't be freaked out, you new people, if you see a UFO, because they are in my videos everywhere. And I didn't think I was supposed to talk about UFOs, but God said, no, that's part of deception. You need to uncover the deception, Chris. Uncover the deception. Sarah, you tell him. You give me time, this thing will be like, you wouldn't even know I'm using a cell phone. Time to do an x-ray shot. That's freaky. Well, there you go. Definitely got two things on top coming down. Definitely got a big, big dark orb that's pretty real. It's just probably, you need an infrared camera, a really expensive one. Yeah. And you know they have um. The quantum physics stuff, the computer they're doing now, it's a ludicrous thing. Um, they got to keep all that anti-matter in a sealed container, otherwise it changes. And it's very dangerous. Like the size of a rice, rice could destroy the earth. Some sick, crazy amount, like tiny amount. <laughs> so. Yeah. The way, I think the way Ken really gets those pictures, he sits, like, like I sit on cams and I'll snap shots of stalled and, but like, like this one right here, I'm snapping shots. I don't know if you guys have been seeing that, but about every five minutes, I'll take a couple pictures. You'll see it go yellow like that. And you'll see these cleared up. I know I can clear these up pretty good. But see, I'm thinking that I'm going to start getting stuff like this all day. Every time I go out hunting, I'm finding real-time footage. To me, the purple sky and the teal green sky on the East Coast was freaky looking. So now this car is down here going, this car is down there going off like it's a normal day. Man. Oh man, got to get in a hot tub too. That sounds good. Okay, this is where we're at, people. If you need to see it. That's your 30-second advertisement to get you off my channel. No, I'm just joking. See, why? if this wasn't real, and I was just making money off you folks, which I'm not really making any money off anybody, um, I wouldn't send you away from my site. 
That's insane. Okay, what's it doing now? This thing on top is getting... Oh, come on. The thing on top is getting so bright that the two small orbs are starting to fade away, so... So do you guys think that was the moon? I don't know what direction I'm in. I'm assuming east, Massachusetts, over the water. But, uh, you know, it doesn't really reveal that. I don't know if I'm at a, at a marina or what, but... So... That is some kind of bright... It's just taking away the whole two planets in the middle. Hey, Tom, you're great, man. Happy, happy resurrection on you, brother. Hey, on the way up, we'll see who can scream the loudest, all right? <laughs> You're the best, man. I'm glad someone does that once in a while. I mean, me and my wife usually, you know, we could use it too. Um, right now, I'm dealing with bandwidth issues. I don't know if I'm going to get snagged on bandwidth doing this. But I got my son watching it, you know? Yeah. But that's great, Tom. That blesses me. I knew someone would get a clue eventually. No, I'm serious, folks. I don't ask my money probably, I'm telling you, out of 800 films, I probably asked my money for 30 of them. It was real slight, real light. And I usually, you know, just put it out there. I want to do like a $1 drive. I'm thinking like a 1,000 people came to a video and a $1 drive is not a burden on anybody and I could buy a new computer tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be coming down and you'll be going up. <laughs> However it works out, no matter what your doctrine, just love Jesus, be ready. That's my, that's my whole, you know, my whole wisdom on it. I don't have to have, I, I got the theology in different ways. I could see pre-trib, mid-trib. I could actually live in all tribs, except for pan-trib. That's just called laziness. <laughs> You guys are great. Okay, I'll be back. Let me take my dog. Gotta move my dog. planet man on top I mean that planet on top is weird it's bright okay I'll be back guys I got you situated check the moon guys that's what I'm getting up actually I'm gonna go howl at the moon I'll be back if it's something good I'm gonna go live on the moon
people come in and some pictures are all messed up. And they're like, what the heck? We have technical, see that? I go away for a second and Sarah, you let the enemy in the room. Oh my God, no, there it is. I don't know what happened, guys, I'm sorry. You know, I was off my post and that's what happened. <laughs> Yeah, my moon is blazing. I got no clouds. That's a good picture. What did you guys do to the camera? We fixed it. <laughs> no, you know why? I pulled it back, I think, a little bit. I had to go get some milk for my fried chicken. No, I'm just joking. My, my Popeyes. I got actually walnut brownies my granddaughter made. And I'm under commandment to eat them quickly. No, I'm not. That planter is not red, guys. It's just a filter I'm using. Man, I can't believe there's nobody outside standing around going, look at the skies, there's all kinds of objects up there. Only on C-Finale channel I've seen anybody do this, like this. Yeah, you guys start seeing fireballs. Let me know. Mile from Dana Point, really? How did that thing get in the way? I'm sorry. It got in the way, didn't it? Jumped up there. Oh, come on. See, I'm gone. The camera fixes itself. I like that black and white, old school, right? Like watching the 1960s. South Florida is so hot. Yeah, I got uh, F-15s for three days flying over my house like crazy. All right, that filter needs to go. Now you see the little planet underneath the moon, I guess. I don't know if it's the moon, but let's call it the moon. But the little planet got little, didn't it? These two right here, I can see them on my screen, but I can't. Maybe I can get the angle. There they are. Okay. How's that, guys? They ain't gonna stop God's plan. We're all part of that plan, by the way. After the three days of darkness, God's going to power you up. You're going to be able to split the Red Sea at that level. You're going to walk the streets and heal the sick and the lame and the people that got manged by whatever happened in the streets. I, I always think of it being like the purge on steroids, one, two, and three. For sure. There they are, man. The moons are still there. Many, many moons ago. Personally, I don't think that's a full moon. But it might be. You guys are all preaching out there. I get you striking at night. I actually do that on purpose. I kind of jump in the, the river and talk about Jesus real hard. And then you guys all start preaching right behind me. And I get to sit here and I read your stuff and I just go, yeah, amen, amen, right on, yeah, right on, amen. <laughs> I don't know why I'm into this banjo, but I am. Yeah. You know how easy it is to be deceived in these days, guys? This is the simplicity of being deceived. If you will not obey the word, James said, then you're already deceived. If you don't obey the word, you're already deceived. That's how easy. Even if that's the moon and those are lens flare, that planet thing down there that's pretty big, 
is a trip. That's what I gotta say. <laughs> All right, enough banjo, drive me nuts. <laughs> enough already, already. All right. This is Loco Loco Lampo. Lobo Loco. Don't go dark. Dongs. I got some dongs. Think they're worth any money yet? If those dongs go up to a dollar, worth a dollar American money, I'm a rich man. Amen. Amen. I gotta give you guys some sound effects. Yeah, no. We're an hour and a half now, guys. Okay, here we go. Sci-fi music. I control the volume. I control the atmosphere. No, this is um, this is Jesus channel showing you some crazy stuff. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking if that's the moon, we're facing west. But if it's not the moon, I was thinking we're facing east, but I don't know. This is someone's doorbell cam. Seriously. It's a doorbell cam giving us this show. If the guy comes home and turns it off, I'm going to be mad. Yeah. Now, on top of the moon, on the other side, there's another planet, guys. Or UFO. Or another telecore. It's coming down. I can see it better than you can. I can see it more than you're seeing it on the cell phone so far. And it's going to be just like the other moon. Now, the other moon on the bottom is kind of flattening out. But the one on top coming down looks round again. And the big one on the bottom is still big and round. Big dark orb in the sky. It's pretty big. Most of them don't believe in the rapture, so what can you say? That's for sure. When I see him in that vision, he scared me. God told me, be not afraid of Wormwood. Do not be afraid. You know why I think he tells me that over and over? I don't think we're going to be here. Just trust the Lord. We're not going to be here. I don't think we're going to be here for that. You know it, Joey. He is. He's the way, the truth, and the only life. There is no other way to God the Father, Elohim, the creator of all things, but through Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus. Repentance from sins, 
Confession with your mouth. Jesus is Lord. You're in, bro. That's it. He's the only way. It's easy. Call in the name of the Lord. Jesus, save me. Jesus, forgive me. That's it. That's how simple it is. God's right here, right now, ready to get you saved. You'll be born again. And you will know you're born again if it's for real. You will know it, that you know it. Amen, amen? Amen. Can I get a big amen from the crowd out there? So, Joey, you came on purpose to meet Jesus in a way you never met him before. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be pure light. In just a few minutes, the trumpet's going to sound. I mean, like, in a few minutes. Anytime, guys. I ain't waiting for the new temple. I'm not waiting for all that. Yeah, remember I was telling you, I seen it before you guys could see it. I could see it better than you could see it on the on the cell phone. But it's another planet, guys. Boom, we're up to what? A fake moon or the real moon. Who knows? Two planets beside it. Two moons in the middle of it and a giant orb that's lit up. And the more light comes, the bigger the moon gets lit up. I mean, that planet, that planet gets lit up. The more this stuff gets brighter up here. That's insane. Only on the Phenol channel you can find this craziness. Craziness ordained by God. <laughs> no, no. So, Father, I pay, I, pl I pray for peace, life of everybody in this channel. I command all fear to go, anxieties, depression, despair. Leave my room in Jesus' name. And I loosen life and peace and joy because the end is near and you're coming. And people getting saved, people accepting the Lord. Even if, I don't, even if they don't tell us, we know they're going, yeah, I'm getting on my knees. This is getting too weird. This is what I'm talking about. It's in a pool? What? Know that? This car's driving by. That's not no pool. Or there's another cam where the you can see this thing in the sky in a pool. Now remember, you go back and look at that little eight-minute thing I did today live. I and mean, I came on and went off. And you can see that purple sky having an orb on the east coast. The sun in the west coast. What side is it? Which one? I don't know what you sent. What? You sent me another one? I gotta go check it out. No, I didn't check my email at all today. I tried to, but I kept getting distracted. Oh, that one, yeah. Uh-huh. I was up in the Alps, and the whole sky went weird. I did a video on this, and the whole sky went weird, and it did like a big old stellar core, like starburst thing, and you could catch it in a, it was like a, a, a small lake on the top of the mountain, and the camera was looking at the lake, but it could see the sky. I will. Hey, and if you guys... Yeah, I, I don't know what the rules are about stuff being updated or stuff from two years ago. Because if the stuff from two years ago is as good as this, I'm going to go take pictures of it and show it to you. But everything I get usually is within a day or two old. Right now, I'm just getting it real time, so I'm not trying so hard to put a lot of videos together. I'd rather spend my time doing this live stuff like this, because that's insane looking, right? That ain't no moon, I don't think. Just don't think it's a moon. Maybe it's a partially lit sun simulator, maybe. Change that music, I didn't like it. <laughs> I don't know. I changed that music. Now see, if I was to sit here for eight hours and do a video, I wouldn't see those two little planets getting brighter. 
and kind of flickering, guys. Do you see that? What? I mean, look at them kind of flickering, ain't they? What'd you guys think? Yeah, so, you know, stuff is going off two years ago, but now it's really getting weird, guys. I mean, I think we should look at that and see how it's coming in because it's still real footage. And people that wake up this year want to see your footage from last year. That's what my take is because it's all more proof, crazy proof. There you go. Where's that? Let's check out the sun, guys. Yep, see this? Thing? Check out the sun. I mean, check out the moon. It's lit like the sun, like a light bulb. Okay. It's, um, is it the Mexicams? on YouTube. Okay, Mexicam's on YouTube. I'll go. Give me a second. Let me get through all this. You guys watch that top one up there. It's gonna do something. All right, I'm gonna take you, take you to the Mexicams. Is it Nuevo, 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 whatever Mexicams, Nuevo. Really? Okay, it's in the pool right now. Am I in the right place, guy? What'd you say it was in the pool? That's where I'm at. I'm right on YouTube, ain't I? Yeah, I'm right on YouTube. <clears throat> What'd you say you've seen, Tom? This is the live one right now. Actually, this one's 9-7-17. That's the date on it. Is it a date? Yeah, it's hard to get the glare down. Sarah, get to work. Is that it? That orange right there, Tom? Let's go back further? Okay. Oh, really? Um, I've actually seen, uh, we're up in, Al in um, Swiss Alps, where the reflections were reflecting, like that dark orb over Massachusetts reflected off the ocean, but it was up in the Alps. It's crazy. I don't see it, and this thing is just kind of tweaking, too, trying to find a signal. Okay. 
Come on, computer, what are you doing? So it just gets higher glare, so I can't get that light off the pool. I don't see it though. It'd be funny if the Stella Core goes off right now. Ooh, right there. Yeah, look at that thing on the scene. Right there, Tom. See that? Catches it right there. It's like a stellar core goes off for a second. See if you could see it. What's the sky? Let's see if we can see the sky good like this. Something went off in that picture. Yeah, mine's getting ready to die. And I got the plug. I don't have the plug. Uh, maybe I do. But in that, on the slide there, I seen it. Like the sky went off. It flashed. Hey, I'm praying for you, Joey. We have technical difficulties, Houston. This cam says 2017, but I don't think so. Did you see anything in the sky, Tom? Oh, that hexagon thing. So Father asks right now. Anyway, I can't find it, bro. I'm gonna go back to this thing, see what's happening. This one. I couldn't get it. But you know, it's gonna be on there. So when I get off of this, I'll go check it this in my computer. Just play around for a minute, find it. But I've seen them reflect off lakes, oceans, bays. The orbs at nighttime, like this orb right here, I've seen them reflect off the water at nighttime. They're strong enough. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Last night I woke up. I was doing. I was doing a film. I don't even know what film I was doing. I was like, "What am I doing?" It puts you to sleep good sometimes. Now that thing on top, it's kind of melted into the light bulb. Look at that thing. It's like a triangle, guys. See it, you see it. Nope, can't see it. I was gonna go on here for a few minutes, right? Yeah, right. A few minutes. I'm too addicted to watching planets. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna it's trying to go out. Now see, this is what I wanna say. This thing came straight down and then to the right, right? I think it did. Oh, I think it's a, I think it's a half lit sun simulator. And the fog is rolling in. Well. Oh, Houston. What's up? Where we at? There we go. Close up. Craziness. Well, folks, we're over here. We're out here in Massachusetts tonight. The fog's hell. This red planet's coming over the surface of the horizon. What the bell? I mean, what the? I mean, what the? What in the world is that up there in the right-hand corner, folks? I'm just playing around, guys. 
That ain't no moon, is it? My moon is way bigger than that. They cheat in Massachusetts on moon size, man. And that ain't the moon. That's that orb. Okay, let's do this. So it's like I'm standing in a field now. Hey, man, check out the moon I found. Ain't no moon. That is a planet. If I ever seen a planet. There you go. I like that effect. Come on, guys. You know I'm all about the trip effects. The fake, you know, the fake news I throw out there every day. Let's see if I can get it. I could do a lot more tricks with my, um, with my editor. And guys, I'm telling you, I don't cheat ever. There's that stupid planet up there. Come on, what is that, guys? What the heck? How real can this get? I don't know, I like that kind of spacey music. Let's zoom in on these moons here. Look at the moons. They's be flickering, right? What in the world are we looking at? Moons and UFOs, guys. Come on. There ain't no lights behind me going off. You can see my reflection of the cell phone on the left. That's obvious. Wow. Okay, hang. Hang tight. I want to believe there's something there, but it's too surreal looking. Are they orbs? Okay, I'm holding my cell phone back. I'm getting a gamma. What you think, Tom? What is it, man? The twin? Those, hey, you know what they are? Those are those three twin blue beams. Uh, twin blue kachinas. Now, let's put the x-ray around it. Let's see what we really got here, Houston. This there, I'll pick it up. Ooh. Right over the horizon. I've got to get my angle just right. I even see him past that fog. Who told it to be fog tonight, huh? I didn't hear anything. Look at that. Pulsating. Oh, there you go. Those are the two planets seeing right there in the bottom left. They're kind of right over the horizon look. I want to see if I can pick up those two, like, blue things, but I'm not. Yeah, the extra sex ray mode. I mean, look at that. That's insane. There's a the trees. Some stuff on the streets. You know, pixelation, but that's pretty 3D-ish looking planet, ain't it, guys? I don't think that's dirt. I'm checking for dirt. Clean, I keep it pretty clean. Not dirt.
No people. A person in the middle of the night. Tell you, ain't no coincidence about that. It's it's insane. This is the guy's doorway. It really is. I gotta send him a note tomorrow. I wish I knew the address. See the side of the built the side of the building right there it goes up. And the wall goes all the way out. There's the ceiling. And that, right underneath the pan. This thing's just facing out his doorway. Crazy. That's a pretty good shot of that. Look at that one on top. Not gone. That's the find right there, the guys. Out of all the stuff that happened, that is the big find. Well. Father, I pray they get good sleep tonight. Bless them. Bless those that bless me tonight too. Extra measure, pressed down, shaken together. More should be given. All right, guys. Good night. Can't get any crazier than that.